Welcome to my YouTube channel. So Kant here. So today we will be discussing about one of the applied statistics interview question, uh, which is called as law of large numbers and central limit theorem. So whenever you go to data science interviews or data analytic interview, they don't probably expect you a definition out of it. They try to understand your ability to use that. So why you are using that uh, law of large numbers or why you are trying to use that uh, central limit theorem? What is a specific use case you are trying to apply that? So that is something very important. So let me just uh, what we will be discussing today is like a definition business use case and when and why to use it. Now before we are understanding the definition of law or large numbers and central limit theorem, let's try to see a small uh, business problem or a problem state statement like uh, in a real time problem environment so all these statistics need to be applied for a sake of a business growth now one such example here i'm demonstrating you pricing analytics and a pricing strategy now what is the purpose of pricing analytics and a pricing strategy is now the statistics is giving us a lot of uh, help in lines of data driven decision making so we are able to take the help of data and we are able to make our decision making in a better way so that we are able to maximize our business so it can be in lines of profits and minimizing the expenses now pricing analytics major goal is so we need to come up with the right pricing here you can see a problem statement xyz phone manufacturing company is planning to release their new mobile phone so like they are trying to launch a new mobile phone so now in the current market we got different uh, mobile phones at a different pricing levels so now but before they release it they want to fix their pricing so they want to come up with an idea what need to be the price of my particular mobile phone so what would be uh, the expected pricing of the product to maximize the sales so we need to come up with the right uh, pricing so that by coming up with the right pricing what happens we are able to see more uh, sales of our phone for sure they're going to be a great business value now it's not only for mobile phone anything it can be a dress it can be a product which you are trying to release it in lines of consumer things so it can be any product whichever you are trying to release it can be even a medicine so it can be a gadget or it can be a mic anything so like uh, coming up with the right, pri right pricing is very important now uh, if i want to do it like a normal regular analysis how i can do very simple i can just conduct a survey so what exactly the survey here is so i can just uh, create an instagram form or i can just ask a question in instagram giving various buckets of pricing or i can just come up with uh, a q and a kind of thing so tell me the pricing of a product we are able to collect the data through surveys or we are able to uh, conduct uh, the pricing through competitors so we are able to collect the lot of data related to the competitors what are their pricing so which pricings are having more sales in lines of amazon in lines of flipkart in lines of various portals you are able to understand the best pricing customers are more likely to buy so now here whenever you are collecting it once you collected all the data we can call it as a sample so once you collected that sample data now what you are trying to do you can apply mean so like what is mean sum of values by number of values so you are trying to apply mean technique so like if there are outliers the mean going to be influenced so you can take again median so in this way like you are able to take either a mean concept or a median concept and you are able to come up with uh, the statement so the amount of data you are taking again while you are analyzing there is a concept came into the picture hey man like whenever you collect a data the data need to be normally distributed where the mean value is equal to median is equal to mode. If the data is not normally distributed, so you may uh, end up in a wrong analysis. Means like your data distribution in a properly, uh, it need to be symmetrically distributed. Again, that concept come into the picture. Or uh, as a uh, guy of, of analyst, I can take confidence interval. Means my goal is to range, share the range of uh, pricing. Hey, your pricing need to be between this level to this level. So I'm 95% sure that the pricing going to be within this level so you can use even a conference interval uh, things now any of these techniques you can use it then what exactly the concept of law of large numbers and uh, central limit theorem end goal is whenever you are trying to perform an analysis your analysis should not go wrong it need to be right it need to be valid how can that analysis be right or how can that analysis be valid so now when i'm trying to make a statement about this pricing analytics so i can't make a statement in a wrong way so i after 
you're making a decision of pricing so if the sales are not happening that going to end up in a huge amount of disaster so like how can we handle it so there comes to this two concepts law of large numbers and central limit theorem what these two definitions are stating first one law of large numbers the law of large numbers states that as the sample size increases, so for example, you collected a sample, I conducted a survey, I collected of uh, 10 people or I collected 20 people. So as the sample size is increasing from 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 2000, or 20,000, 2 lakh, 20 lakh, in this way, as the sample size increases, the sample mean, so whenever you calculate the mean of that particular sample approaches the true population mean. So what does it mean? So like whenever you are trying to collect a data, you may not actually collecting the right amount of data. For example, I'm conducting a survey from a location like Hyderabad. So like what exactly happening? So we are collecting only the pricings related to Hyderabad. So like I collected 100 people within the Hyderabad. If I collect even more people, not 100, I'm collecting 10,000 people. I'm getting close to the Hyderabad people's nature of the pricing. If I'm collecting 10,000, 20,000, as the sample size increases, I am being close to, we can say, very simple like Hyderabad, the peoples. One such beautiful example, we can quote it in a relationship. Whenever you are spending time with a relationship, you are spending time with a person for only one or two, two minutes, let's say, that guy going to be pretty sweet. Or even if within that one or two minutes, that person going to be pretty bad. As you are spending more and more time, you are able to get to know about that particular person. Means you are getting to know about the true true nature of that particular person. So the very first moment you may felt, hey, this guy is a bad guy. But the more time you are spending, you are able to get to know he's a sweet person. The same sweet person, the very first moment you witnessed it, this guy is a very sweet person. As you are spending more time, you came to know this the person is not good. So the more data here, what I mean, the more data you are collecting, you are able to get close to the true nature of a person. In the similar way, the law of large numbers is the same thing. Whenever you are performing an analysis, if you are trying to collect a less data, you may end up in wrong analysis. Instead of doing that, try to collect more data. Try to collect more data. That's what the definition is saying. The law of large numbers states that as the sample size increases, the sample mean approaches the true population mean. In other words, the law of large numbers is concerned with the behavior of a single random variable. So in a very simple note, what exactly the law of large numbers is saying is whenever you are doing an analysis, instead of collecting a less amount of sample, try to collect a huge amount of data, even to the another side. So the connection of this law of large numbers is standard error. So we all know the equation of standard error, standard error is equal to, so standard deviation divided by square root of n. So here n represents sample size. As your uh, sample size increases, your standard error going to reduce. So like whenever you collect a less amount of sample size, you may end up with a more amount of standard error. So here the rows or the sample size represents the number of recorded values you collect. The more data you collect it, the better your machine learning models are able to learn it. Not only that, the more data you collect, the better decisions you are able to make it in lines of analytics. That's what your law of large numbers are saying. Then Kant, what exactly this central limit theorem states that? Means like if you are able to go back to this pricing analytics, now if I want to make a statement about the price of that product, instead of collecting only one particular sample with the least amount of uh, sample size, so the law of large numbers says that you are trying to make a decision on the pricing of a product. So it, I always suggest, based on the law of large numbers try to collect more data so that you may end up in a better analysis your analysis is going to be more right by collecting less data you may end up with improper decision making so this is what law of large numbers says that in case if you are a data analyst or a data scientist working towards pricing analytics instead of collecting a less amount of data try to go with more data why collecting more data based on the statement of a law of large numbers we all do the same thing. Now, what exactly the concept of the central limit theorem? So the central limit theorem states that, again, in probability theory, the central limit theorem establishes that in many situations, 
For identically distributed independent samples, the standardized sample mean tends towards the standard normal distribution in a very simple uh, layman terminology. Now I want to understand, for example, you can uh, take a small example like uh, take a movie rating. Any movie you can uh, go for it, like you are planning to go for a movie on the particular weekend. Then what you probably do that is like you will be collecting uh, one particular rating, means you go to IMBD rating and you have a look over it. Now the movie released on the morning, so by afternoon you may not be having a lot of uh, people rated that. So here I can say it as a sample size. The sample size is going to be less for the movie uh, whenever you are watching it. The movie released at uh, morning 9 or something and you are seeing the reviews at 2. There are going to be less amount of reviews. Now as you are spending, as more people are watching that movie, you are able to get more reviews. Means you are able to get more sample size. Now what exactly central limit theorem states that? Your law of, uh, your law of large number states that if you are trying to make a statement about a movie or if you are trying to make a statement about a specific movie you need to have a large amount of population rating about it so based on that you can say that is the actual rating of a movie now then what central limit theorem states that so every time collecting a huge amount of data may not be possible then what you can do at that point of time you can refer to multiple sample means you are able to collect multiple sample means so when you are able to take average of this or if you are able to take some of it then saying some we can say average of all this sample means it going to have a normally distributed format or we are able to say it going to the population going to have a normal distribution so in a layman terminologies for example i want to say whether the movie is good or bad now you don't just refer to only IMBD rating, you look at Book My Show rating, you look at uh, India's uh, Times of India or India Today rating, you try to look at uh, Paytm rating, you try to look at some other uh, portal rating or Rotten Tomatoes rating. In this way, you look at multiple sites, the combination of all these multiple sites going to be the mean of your movie. So you are able to say this is the rating of a movie. The same thing we do, even in order to watch a particular uh, movie, if I want to say that, I will be looking at the uh, YouTube reviews i look at uh, book my show reviews i look at the trailer so by taking an average of all this i decide whether to go for a movie or not the same thing we do it in lines of buying a product the same thing we do that in lines of going for uh, anything so the same thing when you are able to go for pricing analytics so the law of large numbers is concerned about only one sample try to take only one sample at a larger size so that particular sample going to be equal to the mean of the population whereas in central limit theorem try to take multiple sample means multiple samples so all the sample distributions going to be close to a distribution of your population population normal distribution that is what it is saying so if you are unable to collect a huge amount of sample try to collect what exactly we can say multiple samples where the sample uh, number of samples need to be more so by collecting more samples you are able to speak more close to the population so if you are trying to make a statement about pricing analytics so you are trying to release a product across which particular zone let's imagine you want to run this product across uh, let's say uh, Hyderabad zone or a Bangalore zone I want to do it collect multiple samples understand the pricing so each locations different different locations collecting few people from one location another few people from another location so so the average of all this sample means going to be distributed towards a normal distribution in the population. So based on that you are able to make a statement about the population. So why again this central limit theorem or law of large numbers is to reduce the error of uh, decision making in lines of your sample collection. Whenever you collect a wrong sample it may end towards wrong analysis. That's the reason try to use central limit theorem. We are using central limit theorem in our day to day life. Even we use law of large numbers in our day-to-day -day life. So we see a particular Amazon rating. If the number of ratings are very less, we don't actually buy that. So we see there need to be more ratings with, mo with the exact amount of rating. Then we try to say this is the right product. Why a lot of people are saying this product is good. The same way we use central limit theorem as well. We don't look at only at Amazon. We look at the pricing set multiple platforms. And the pricing which is similar to the real time, we are able to understand. If majority of the sites are saying 4,000, you try to invest 4,000 on a product. If majority of the sites are saying like 300 and some sites are saying 4000, you better buy a product at 300. So we use central limit theorem, we use uh, again law of large numbers. So both are different and uh, as well as they are used in order to reduce uh, 
your uh, overall error we make in your decision making. So we use it in your statistical inferences. Whenever you are trying to make some inferences out of data, I think these two concepts comes into the play. So try to use it. So in lines of real time, so try to apply to a business. So don't just explain central limit theorem definition is this or law of large number definition is this. Try to apply to a use case and convey that to the interviewer so they are able to get more clarity about your uh, business skill. So whatever the theory you know, how well you are able to apply, they are able to understand it. So uh, whenever you are preparing statistics, don't just prepare it like a definition. Try to apply to a real scenario. Try to apply to your day-to-day -day life, how you are able to see that, how you are able to get that. Uh, so you'll, you'll be knowing it. So based on the pros and cons, try to use a technique. So as a data analyst or a data scientist, you are a doctor. So all these techniques are mandatory. It's, it's all about how you are using it how well where you can use it so when you can use it that is very important while you're preparing for statistics so uh, all the best for all the learners who are preparing for uh, data analytics or data science interviews in case if you need any guidance or uh, assistance please uh, check the description below I'm, I'm i'm pleased to help you out thank you so much